this is my new MacBook. And I use the term new a little bit loosely because this thing came out in 2015. When this thing came out two years ago, you could pack it with some pretty high-end specs. And I think those specs hold up pretty well even today in 2017. This particular laptop is a 15-inch Retina Pro that I bought from Apple, refurbished, for $2,121.97. It's got a quad core i7 clocked at two and a half gigahertz. It's got 16 gigs of RAM. It's got a 512 gigabyte SSD, and it's got Apple's 2880 by 1800 resolution display. This was the last laptop that Apple made with sort of this design, because in 2016, we got the Touch Bar MacBooks, they have the redesigned butterfly keys, and the humongous trackpads and of course the touch bar. And yes, they're a little bit slimmer and have a smaller footprint. If you're buying a MacBook in 2017, you're gonna get Intel's Kaby Lake processors, which are the newest ones. So why in 2017 did I spend over $2,000 on a two-year-old refurbished laptop? Because of literally one singular thing, ports. As someone who makes videos, it is crucial to be able to take the SD card out of my camera and put it right into my MacBook. Or plug an HDMI cable directly into the laptop to power an external monitor. Or plug in a USB cable to charge my iPhone. Or plug in another USB cable and record audio with an external microphone. This laptop has a headphone jack and the new laptops do as well but the iPhone doesn't. And this thing's got two display ports, so you can plug in peripherals into either of the Thunderbolt ports. One monitor, two monitors, an external GPU, external hard drives, a sound device, and lest we forget, MagSafe. Just yesterday, I was walking away from my desk and my foot caught the charging cable and MagSafe saved my laptop from being ripped off the desk. This is the brand new 2017 15-inch MacBook Pro. This laptop has a 2.8 gigahertz KB Lake processor, 512 gigabytes of storage, and 16 gigs of RAM. This machine is $2,599 before tax. And it has four ports, and they're all the exact same, USB Type-C. So, if you get this computer, you need USB Type-C ports for everything you do. The iPhone that you plug into your computer, the cable that comes in the box, you need an adapter. You can't plug in an SD card unless you have an adapter. You want to do HDMI, you need an adapter. Also, no MagSafe on this thing. So if you tug on this USB cable, your laptop is going with it. Granted, yes, if you're spending that much money, you are getting the latest and greatest. But is it really the latest and greatest? I know what you might be thinking. Sam, there are dongles. And yes, I know. Do you really want to spend $69 on this Apple dongle that effectively gives you back the one USB-C port it takes up and then gives you HDMI and regular USB. Or you can get this peripheral dongle from Hyperdrive. This takes two USB-C ports, but you get a lot. You get HDMI, Thunderbolt 3, USB-C, SD, and micro SD, and then two regular USB ports like I have on my machine. But do you really wanna have to carry these things around and then plug them into your computer just to do everyday tasks? I don't. And that's why I bought a two-year-old laptop in 2017, because of the ports. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and hit that subscribe button for more videos like this. I'll see you in the next one.